five seconds to go. Start. Many congratulations to all the young friends on the completion of the foundation course. Today is the festival of Holi. I wish all the countrymen, you, the people of the academy and your families a very happy Holi. I am glad that today postal certificates dedicated to Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel ji and Lal Bahadur Shastri ji have also been issued by your academy. Today the new sports complex and the happy valley complex have also been inaugurated. These facilities will strengthen the team spirit, health and fitness and help in making the civil service more smart and efficient. Friends, over the years I have met and spent a long time with many batches of civil servants. But your batch is very special from my point of view. You are starting your career at the time of this Amrit Mahotsav in the 75th year of India's independence. Not many of us will be there when India enters its 100th year of independence. But you and your batch will be there at that time. In this virtuous period of independence, your story and your team will play an important role in all the developments that the country will essay in the next 25 years. Friends, the eyes of the entire world are on India at this juncture of the 21st century. New world order is emerging following circumstances caused by Corona. In this new world order, India has to enhance its role and develop itself at a fast pace. It is time to move forward many times faster than the pace at which we have progressed in the last 75 years. In the near future, you will be handling some district or department. Somewhere, a huge infrastructure project would be going on under your supervision or somewhere you would be offering your suggestions at the policy level. Amidst all this, you have to keep one thing in mind and that is the biggest goal of 21st century India and that is the Atmanirbhar Bharat, a modern India. We do not have to lose this time and that is why I have a lot of expectations from you. These expectations are related to your personality as well as your actions and your work culture. Therefore, I start with a few smaller things that might come in handy for your personality. Friends, you have been made aware of the vision and thoughts of Sardar Patel ji during the training. The importance of both the spirit of service and the sense of duty has been an integral part of your training. No matter how many years you are in this service, this factor should be the measure of your personal and professional success. One should constantly ask oneself whether the spirit of service or the sense of duty is not ebbing. You should always evaluate whether you are not losing sight of this goal. Keep this goal paramount always. There should be neither diversion nor delusion in it. We all have seen that a person or a system suffers heavily when the spirit of service abates and the feeling of power dominates. For some, this loss may be early or late, but the loss is bound to happen. Friends, I would like to tell you one more thing which might be useful to you. When we work with a sense of duty and a sense of purpose, no work seems like a burden. You too have come here with a sense of purpose. You have come 
to be a part of a positive change for society for the country there is a vast difference between the two methods of getting work done by giving orders and motivating others with a sense of duty i think this is a leadership quality that you have to develop this is essential for team spirit there is no room for any compromise and it is very important friends a few months from now you all will hit the ground running you will have to work by understanding the difference between files and the ground reality you will not get the real feel in the files you have to be connected to the field for the real feel remember this for the rest of your life the data contained in the files are not just numbers every figure every number is a life that life had some dreams and aspirations and that life has some difficulties and challenges therefore you have to work for every single life not for numbers i would like to share my feelings with you this mantra will give you the courage to make a decision and if you follow it then you will be less likely to make a mistake stop